Continuing on with our training routine and diet series, we will today be looking at the Emerald Archer, Green Arrow. On the surface, he seems very similar to Batman, a vigilante billionaire with no superpowers. But he's actually very different, not only in the way he operates, but in the way he trains. Let's get into it. Now, looking into the training for this character is very different to others. We are fortunate enough with Green Arrow to have essentially a real life version of the character in Stephen Amell. He played the character for 8 years and followed a training routine very similar to what the real life Oliver Queen would have done. The only difference is being Stephen trained to physically look like Oliver Queen, being able to move in a similar manner, but he wouldn't have practiced archery or martial arts in the same way. So we will begin this video by looking at how Mr. Amell got into the physical shape that he did to play the Emerald Archer, both through his training and his diet. And then I will introduce some martial arts and archery practice into the routine to make it more practical to the comic book version of the character. Now something we know for certain that the actor used to mimic how he felt Oliver Queen would train is calisthenics, or bodyweight training. He said, The most impressive things I do on the show are when I can manipulate my own bodyweight. And that is really the true test of strength. I'm much more impressed if someone can do 30 pull-ups than bench 300 pounds. Because one has an actual application in the real world, theoretically. The other is just for show. Bodyweight training transfers well when you spend your evenings jumping from rooftop to rooftop or chasing bad guys through the streets. In an interview with Men's Fitness, he listed a bunch of exercises that he adds into his routine. These included running, chin-ups, pull-ups, abdominal work, push-ups, headstand push-ups, planking, tricep push-ups, and different types of balancing exercises. These may be incorporating things like kettlebells to help with strengthening certain areas. One of the most important things to remember when it comes to calisthenics like this is to focus on progression. You're not necessarily going to be able to do the salmon ladder on day one. Well, most normal people can't anyway. So first focus on pull-ups, then progress to more explosive pull-ups or clapping pull-ups, and then progress to the salmon ladder. Likewise, if you can't do a pull-up yet, try doing reverse push-ups or negative pull-ups first, meaning you essentially jump to the top of the pull-up and then slowly lower yourself down. I would also highly recommend things like rock climbing, or more specifically bouldering, as a way to develop the grip strength, back strength, and explosiveness that Amel displays. All of these sorts of exercises are almost definitely what comic book Green Arrow would have used as well. Because let's not forget he spent the majority of his time when first learning these skills stranded on an island, with no gym or squat rack anywhere to be seen, so bodyweight exercises would have been his only option. The great thing about Amal's training is that it's informed by the character. He trains the way that Arrow would train, and that gives him his training philosophy and a body as close as possible to the real life superhero. This is why I chose to focus the first half of this video on Stephen Amal's training. But of course he is just an actor and cannot actually do the majority of things that Green Arrow can do. So what is missing? Well, Amel actually pointed out himself that if he did need to be an expert archer, he would spend a lot less time on things like pull-ups and more time on slow rows, focusing on control and stability. A mix of dumbbell rows and standing cable rows would be ideal for this. There would certainly be a lot of focus on back strength, as the stronger the back muscles, the higher poundage you would be able to pull on a bow. You know what else you need to do to get better at archery? Archery. That's right, to get really good at something, you need to do it. A lot. The more you do it, the better you will get. The other thing that Oliver Queen is a master of is of course hand-to-hand -hand combat. In reality, he'd likely be training in MMA four or five times a week. This is the most realistic art to practice. It of course focuses on effective striking, clinching and grappling. Now, this may seem like a lot, but let's not forget that archery isn't really too much of a workout. So, he would be more than able to put an hour or two of archery practice in in the morning and then MMA in the evening, putting his bodyweight training in around those. The last thing I would like to talk about is his diet. And let's not forget the number one rule. You cannot out-train a bad diet. You can train hard daily, but if your diet isn't up to scratch, you will not get the desired results. You certainly won't look like a superhero. There are many different ways to try and help you eat clean. Intermittent fasting, ketosis, simply tracking your nutritional intake using apps like MyFitnessPal work great. You just have to find what works best for you. 
For an example of what sort of meals you should be eating, look back at my Batman video like this, as I cover a full meal plan in that. I don't want to essentially repeat the exact same thing here. So to summarize, eat clean, focus on explosive bodyweight movements and a strong back, practice archery daily, and focus on becoming a well-rounded martial artist. With all this and a strong mind that was built up after being alone on an island for years, we'll make you a superhero on par with Oliver Queen, the Green Arrow. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Green Arrow is and has always been one of my favorite superheroes. I've always loved the comics. I've loved the versions of the character on Smallville, played by Justin Hartley, and I absolutely love Stephen Amell's commitment to the role in Arrow. Who would you guys like to see covered next in this series of videos? I have had a ton of requests to cover Nightwing. Are there any others? Let me know in the comments down below. That's it from me today, my friends. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and return to the Batcave for more Bat content.